Yeah. Y'all see me. You heard it's harvest season. Time to harvest that bag. You heard? I grind so hard, it's spooky. You heard? Y'all should dress up like me for Halloween. You heard? Because this grind is scary. Z-Boy, you heard? Look at me doing that, doing that jail pose in front of a rock, baby. You heard? Jail posing for no reason at all in front of a rock. You heard? see how i'm moving out here comment gang i need y'all to tear this up bro matter of fact this episode that i'm about to drop this is a re-release you heard because when i first dropped this episode the music the theme music was a little bit too loud and i got a little bit too many complaints so i had to put this episode back out because it's too fire to play around with your you already know you love what I'm doing on this channel. Feel free to send me a cash app donation. All donations are appreciated. You heard? If you ain't got no money, comment on five random videos and that's a donation too. Z-Boy. So then I start doing a light jog. You know a light one? Where you're kind of trying to hold a hammer. But you, don't want, but you don't want to put your hand right there when you're doing a light jog because to the onlookers, it's like, oh, something's going on. So I'm trying to light jog someone. I bust that light jog. This motherfucker did a, a Jimmy Fox snooker dive. Now, what happened, right, was that, well, you know I got a lot of cranes, man. So, my God. When I touched down, my dude, this is who I was banging with, right? And um, so he just came home from a little bit, I think in Jersey or somewhere, or maybe an island a little bit, whatever the case may be. He met up with his, his Spanish dude that was in the in the in the in the in the in the spot with him. So when the Spanish dude came home, they kicked it or whatever the case may be. Cool ass dude, man. Um. I ain't gonna say his name because in his in the hood, you know what I mean? But um, so big boy was like, Yo, I got something for you, man. I know what you remember. We was like, You was telling me the type of line of work you and your boy do. I got something for So my man hits me like, Yo, my dude said he got something short shot right up our alley, some heavy action. So I was like, Well, who's this dude? So he like, yo, you know, um, dude, I was just jammed up with good dude. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go check him first. You know what I'm saying? So we pulled up and check him. Now, when we go check him, you know, good energy, good vibe. But he was also, the, the main, I really liked it about him because he was straight stand up and he was straight to the point of, yo, look, this is what's going on. Um, but my man's in them is the one who put me on to it so i'm basically getting them right here to be on that one-on-one -on -one with y'all so i was like all right cool so his man pull up right so his man on some yo straight shit son yo this is it this is the come up now let me tell you something bro for how long i've been doing this type of work right there's quite a few things i've learned right and the number one thing i learned is that on the lineup when a motherfucker lining something up for you, it's like a 50 50. Meaning that a lot of motherfuckers be trying to get motherfuckers lined up that they're disgruntled with or they don't like. You know what I mean? And it's not really a technical, yo, that's it, that's it, I'm telling you that's it. And they don't have no feelings with it. Most of, so I gotta feel out if a dude just trying to get. You know, um, somebody, or maybe an adversary, maybe it was somebody that, competition, you know, all them type of things you got to factor in when somebody just giving you something. If I don't know, them, you know what I mean? So the point is, I was like, I ain't. So as I'm hearing it out, my vibe's like, nah, 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 this is just organic. I'm like, all right, cool. So I tell you, after we finish chopping it up on our way back on the FD, I'm telling, I'm telling my boy, like, yo, yo. 
And I, my spirit feel good about that. I'm ready to knock that down. So he's like, all right, that's all I need to hit. So maybe like three days later, it, 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 it was the go down, right? All right, so the go down is supposed to be early in the morning. Because how they locked it up, they was like, yo, in the spot. You know what I mean? Um, everything shook, man. We know anything about the D work because we were supposed to go get <clears throat> these, these D boys up, the boys that do that D. So basically, it was based on time frame. You know, everybody, you know, going cop at certain times and they shut down. So it's like you gotta get it in the morning if you want the whole the robustness of of, of, of the roast beef. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm all right. So we up there, we land, we waiting, boom. So then, what we really waiting is for is for broad. So they had a broad that was gonna knock on the door and get us sent, right? So this was a projects. This was a projects, and yes, this was a projects. And what and, this, and, and what time was this? This what well we been there, you know when you you know you got a nip nap, you know what I'm saying. It mainly got to sit and wait and, and you know what I'm saying and see the situation. But as we was playing, she ain't get there till like nine, right? In the morning? Yeah, nine and all this is in the morning, right? And you know, this kind of neighborhood was basically mixed. It was like, you know, some Spanish brothers, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, some Dominican brothers, some black brothers, some, a little bit of everything was around this spot, you know what I mean? So, all right, when they like, yo, yo, homegirl here, all right, cool. So we goes in the building, right? So now when we go in the building, we goes up to the floor. It's a high floor, like 11, 12, something like that. So now the broad comes. So we waiting in the exit, but we got the door open to the exit. So you know, you don't hear like, Aah! you know how the doors open and close. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The pissy urination. You know what I mean? That gets all on the fucking, the, the levers and the knobs and the hinges. The door, right? So the broad knocks, bang, 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 right? So boy comes to the door, so I hear him having dialogue with her, but she's re resilient, like, no, no, nah, boom, blah, 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 blah. So he's waiting, he's not like opening the door, like a, just to open the door, ass nigga. So he opened the door, right? So now when homegirl get the door open, right? She do a fake step in. But then she stepped back out. By the time she steps out and spin, I'm there. Boom. Now, when I'm there, he's like, oh, trying to close the door. But I push his in. Now, when I push in, he's still trying to close the door. But my man came right behind me. So we burl in. So when we burl in, it's like a bunch of sneaker boxes right there. So we knocked all them shits over. But homeboy is fighting. You know, Linky ass, he had on, he, he had on some, 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 some boxes and a BVD, right? No shoes on or nothing. He's scrapping, so we scrapping. So what happened is, somehow, some way, me and my dude wind up bumping into each other, and this dude gets to the door and slip out the door, right? So now when he get out the door, I'm like, damn. I go to the door and try to go after him, but this dude is jumping down flights at a time. You know them kind of niggas. I was never jumped down a flight whole flight at the time, you know what I'm saying? I take a good four steps and get, get get in the wind, but the boy got going. Now keep in mind, the broad that got in the door, she was going down the stairs, right? Now I'm gonna tell you something that I learned later, right? Which is that she dropped her phone, right? During the course that she heard the coming downstairs, so she left it. So now, we in the crib, I come back, I'm like, yo, so he like, yo, I said, you found me? He said, nah. I said, come on, go in the room. So we split up, we went in there, so we ain't finding nothing so far, so I'm like, yo, bro, all right, come on, let's go right here. So we stayed right there for about two minutes. I said, yo, we out, son, we can't stay here too long because this shit is a hot district, you know what I'm saying? And homeboy just ran out, so he like, bro. So we dips, we goes across the roof. Now we going across the roof for the simple fact these was the instructions that the lineup man gave us. Like, yo, y'all come out, go across the roof, boom, 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 bing, bong, bing. So now me and my understanding, I'm like, okay, I like the fact that motherfuckers laid it out. 
for the brothers, you know what I'm saying? But what happened, I didn't do my own research. Because what happened was, motherfucking, when we went across the roof, went down, something else I learned later on. They had cameras on the roof, right? So, we fucking go downstairs. Now, when we come downstairs in the next building, as soon as I come downstairs, I'm right in front of the next building. That, that just, I went in. So I said, oh, what type of setup shit is this? This this right here just wasted, took time off my clock. You know what I'm saying? What you I mean? Said, it, on, it, was just, it was just a building right next door to the building? A building right next door to the fucking building we went into, bro. You know what I'm saying? So now when I see that, I'm saying to my man as we walking, I'm like, yo, what the fuck was that? Like, what's, your, what's up with your mans in them? Them niggas is like lining us up. What the fuck? So he's like, yo, I don't know. I said, yo, go get this dude that we left the car with which was his man that he was locked up with, right? He told his man, yo, just spin around the block, spin around the block, you know what I'm saying, until I hit you on the phone. So now when we coming out, and I'm telling him, yeah, just go get your man. So then we see Duke. Duke is out there in his drawers, right? And he, oh, look, 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 go, 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 go. And he's riling the people up, but it's more like a lot of older, 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 um, Spanish brothers, like, like Dio and them, they, they drinking out there, drinking their Bustelo, you know, they drinking their coffee and shit, they, this, this was the, 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 the early morning action they getting, so they looking at him, I see they surround him looking, then he say, oh yeah, he's right there, and then everybody look, I said, oh shit, so me and, me and my dude walking, so, for some reason, Duke just started running, but he's running after me, he's coming after me, I'm not running, we not running, He's coming towards me. So I told my man, split up, break out. So he breaks out. He's going to get the V. So homeboy's running towards me. So what he's, I'm looking at him like, yo, like, what you about to do, yo? I'm going to bang your ass, right? So he like, oh, oh, you think you're going to do that? What you got? What you got? I said, what I got? I said, yo, man, get away from me. I wasn't trying to hand period, but then I was thinking like, damn, he must be thinking I got something out the crib. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I smacked him with the hammer a time or two, but he was he was he was evasive, you know. So I was like, damn. So now I'm trying to talk to him while I'm walking, and he like, nah, nah, fuck that. So I said, man, right, man. So then I start doing a light jog, you know, a light one. When you're kind of trying to hold a hammer, but you don't want, but you don't want to put your hand right there when you're doing a light jog because to the onward, because it's like, oh, something's going on. So I'm trying to light jog someone. I bust that light jog. This motherfucker did a, a Jimmy Fox snooker dive, but he wasn't on the top rope. And the motherfucker tackled me like he was motherfucking Julius Peppers, you heard? So when he tackles me, Boom. The slammer slides, right? But it's not that far. So he's on top of me, and you know I'm in a push up position, right? So he's straddling on top of me, but he see the hammer, but he's trying to hold me at bay. I, I, I can't see him, but I'm thinking how he's thinking. So I said, All right, I gotta counterattack his weight. I gotta, when he's trying to shift, I'm just gonna buck. When I buck, I get him off and I get the hammer. That's what happened. I bucked on him. He went up. I got the hammer. So when I got the hammer, I squinted on him. I said, yo, he ran. So boom, I, I start walking faster. I got to the parking lot. Then I start getting low and start dipping. So when I start dipping, I catch up with my dude. So my dude got the V. He like, yo, come on, get in. So he gets in, right? When we get in, keep in mind, I got a backtrack. During that scuffle, dude, my hat came off, right? And when my hat came off, this is going to be the lesson, right? My hat came off, I left that shit. I had to get it going. But when when his man, we got to the car and we got his man out the car, I told him, I said, yo, listen, you got to go back to the scene. My hat dropped, you know what I mean? And um, I need you to get that hat. He said, all right. Later on that day, he called and said, yeah, yo, I got the hat. It's good. I trashed it. All right, cool. So down, that was that. 
bro, six months later, right? I'm at my mom's crib, right? So they knocking on the door, doom, 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 right? It's like six in the morning, so my mom's is up. She about to go to work. So she like, the only people that could be knocking on this door is them damn people. I said, oh, man. So I go to the door, damn sure right, it's them people. So I said, yo, yo. So she said, what you done did? I said, I ain't do nothing. She said, all right, well, open the door because I got to go to work. So I opens the door. I'm like, yo, what else? So they're like, yo, um, yeah, we got to take you down because um, some officers want to talk. I said, for what? They say, yo, we don't know. We don't know. You know, we not. I said, yo, don't put me in no cuffs. I'm not leaving them for my moms. You cuff me in front of my moms, leaving out her billing. I ain't, don't buy none of that. So they're like, all right, cool. He goes downstairs. So now we in front of my mom, so I'm, I'm ready to kick it with them. Like, yo, what's up? Like, what's up? For real? What's up? They say, yo, we do not know what they want you for. All they told us to come and see if they could get us. I said, is you the warning squad? They said, nah, we not the warning squad. I said, oh, what the fuck? So now when they taking me, so I'm going across the bridge. So when I'm going across the bridge, I'm like, damn, what, Manhattan? I hate Manhattan, yo. I hate Manhattan to go to court there, son. They play different. I'd rather stay in the town because, you know, they're going to be lenient with the violence, with the robbery. You know, they, they look at you different. Man, that's a normal. But up there, nah, they try to hang you high, bro. So I ain't want to go to Manhattan. Go to Manhattan. So when I get up there, they put me in this fucking... I don't... This wasn't a precinct, bro. This shit was like in... Somewhere like... Street somewhere... Like right off Broadway, but it was like a, a a task force unit fucking dwelling. They had a robbery squad in there. They had a fucking um 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 car thiefing squad in there, and they had another squad, a fraudulent squad in there, right? And I'm learning all this because I've been sitting there since they brought me in, and I'm waiting for the officers to come. that want to see me. They come around seven seven fifteen or something like that, right? So it was an Italian dude and it was a black dude. Now check the science, bro. Yo, when they get the Italian dude comes first, he come to work first. So he like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, yo, we want to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you some few things. Ain't nothing to be alarmed about or nothing. I said, yeah, all right. He said, look, when my partner come, we're going to take you out the pen. We're going to put you in this room and we're going to have a conversation. I said, all right, cool. I said, because I got things to do. You know what I mean? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So his partner come, right? The black dude. So when the black dude come, they take me out the pen. So I'm looking at the black dude. The black dude looking at me. He's looking at me with knowing eyes, like, like trying to feel me out and trying to see whatever. I don't know. Bro, when he gets in the room, dude's got the, you know, the yellow folder, you know, so... They open the folder, right? So they like, yo, um, all right, yo, I got a situation, man. Uh, this is what it is, right? He said, um, you know, dudes be having their little beefs, you know, the guys on this and they sell their drugs. You know what I'm saying? They sell their drugs. That's what they do. I, you know, it don't bother me. It don't affect me in no way. You know? Um, but I know what happened. You know? Um, this guy called you guys he, he called you Brooklyn guys he called you guys to come over here and do a robbery and you know I have no problem with that but when it's on my shift they got me to be rectified you're coming over here from Brooklyn to do all type of atrocities he said no nah. I said yo I don't even know what you're talking about what are you talking about he said you don't know what I'm talking about he said you don't know I said nah I don't know no from he said all right he said all right well you know i checked your background i checked you out and um uh, i figured that you know this was gonna so i'm gonna run my i'm gonna run my the tail of the tape down for my interview he said this is what happened right by the way i want you to know the girl she told everything i said what girl who what, what are you talking about so he said the girl dropped her phone Right, trying to flee down the stairs in the scene of the crime. We got her phone, we tracked it down, boom, boom, boom. She told us that got her and got you guys to come over and do this robbery. 
I said, oh, yeah? Okay, so I robbed somebody. He said, um, it was a home invasion, right? A home invasion. I said, yo, you check my jacket, man. Do my jacket look like anything of that nature right there? He said, no. No, it don't. You're right. He said, however, right, let me finish spilling my tail of the tape. He said, so you press fold it. I said, oh, yeah. He said, now, he showed me the pictures, right, on the roof, right? He showed me the hat. And then he said, yo, I have the hat. The hat have your DNA on it, right? And this is why we're sitting here with this discussion. That's you right there on the day of the robbery in the building, right? On the roof, right? So what you did, you went on the roof and came down on the other side. I said, yo, that's me. You saying that's me right there? So he like, yeah, that's you. So I said, nah, that ain't me. So then he like, well, okay, um... I just told you that and the girl is, is talking and telling. I said, well, I, I hear you. And I have your hat. This is your hat. This is on you. That's your hat. I said, okay, cool, right? So then, so he's asking. He's still trying to interrogate me, still trying to interrogate me. So then I said some shit like, yo, man, this is wasting time, man. You sitting here saying it's me. I'm telling you it's not me. You're not believing me. I'm not believing you. Let's go to the show, yo. So the black dude, son, he put his hands on the on the, on, the, on the desk, like like both his hands, like to get up, like I'm out of here. Like, and that's when it clicked to me, bro. What they had tried to do was they was trying to get me to tell. They had little pieces, right? But they didn't have the glue, right? They didn't have the glue to synchronize everything into one collage, right? So what they tried to do is get me to tell on myself, right? And then he said some slick shit. He said, yo, um, that's you and this person right here. This is your co-defendant on a particular case that happened. I said, uh, yo, I, you, you got me mixed up, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. So when I told you the black dude put his hands up like yeah that's it it's over with can't yeah but, 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 it's, it's over he didn't say that but that action is putting his hands up and getting up to leave lets me know like oh so they basically was trying to squeeze me right to put myself at the scene of this crime and since I am who I am the black dude is like eh. he basically gave me a hint like you did right this is over with. So when he gets up to get up there, his partner was looking like, and black dude was like, man, I'm going, I'm, I'm out. The Italian dude was more so like, all right, this is how you want to play. I said, yo, I'm not playing with you, man. I got no time to be playing. I'm serious about my shit. So he said, all right. So they sat me in the pens, right? They sat me in the pens, when they sat me in the pens, I'm downstairs, I'm in the court, I'm under the courts now. Been down there from in the morning time to damn near seven o'clock at night, bro. So now everybody then came, the second, the second fucking um bus then came and dropped dudes off. Them dudes went to court, left. So I say to the court officer, I says, yo, yo, what's up with my situation? He said, like, who are you? So I tells him the government information. He said, I'll be back. He left, he came back. He said, yo, um, it's a name for it. I don't remember the name. But he said, yo, your, your case is bung, bung, bung. So I said, okay, what's that? He said, they basically going to dismiss it. They don't got enough evidence to indict you on. You know what I'm saying? They don't got enough. So I said, all right, cool. So he said, I'm going to get this round up. I'm going to go get your paperwork, pull you and let you go. So I said, all right, cool. Now, when I hear that, I'm like, oh, shit. So I get out, right? So when I get out, I pulls up on my dude. I tells my dude, yo, bro, this is what they did to me. This is what they had. They had your flick. They had my flick. They had us. Boom, boom, boom. 
for what they wanted me to do. He said, but how did they get you, bro? So now check this out. At the time, my co-defendant was still jammed up, right? So when he called me, like, that day, he was, I, I talked to him. Yeah, I talked to him that day, and I was telling him, and he was like, yo, let me tell you what your situation is. He said, this is your situation. He was like, yo, um, anything found, like, this is from a burglary. They changed the statue of burglaries. Like, they made burglaries. At this time, they made burglaries into a tent murder. Because if you enter somebody's crib, nine times out of ten, you're going to do something to them. You know what I mean? Well, then they dwell in. So that's when they changed that whole statue. But also in that same statue, what they were saying that if somebody have an article, if I have a hat, a jacket, or something, and it's found in somebody's crib, that puts me to the scene of the crime. Now, if I have an item of mine that's outside of the crib, they can't pick that up and use that in no form or fashion in a DNA for a conviction because it's, it's outside. It's, it's, I give hats away. You know, it's a whole bunch of crackheads I give hats to. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of shit I give garments to. Yeah, it might have my DNA, but it got somebody else's DNA on it too. Yeah, that shit could have fell off your head. That shit could have fell off fell, the side of your a, car. A good wind gust. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming off that Hudson. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the point was, I learned that and I was like, oh shit. So basically, you know, um, they had me. But due to the fact that they found the hat outside, right? The DA was like, man, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time convicted. Fuck that, throw it away. So they got rid of the shit, threw the shit away. And um, I was on parole at the time, right? So what had happened, I went and I told my parole officer. So she was like, Miss Smith, she was like, yo. She was like, yo, we'll get a disposition or something like that, you know? Basically, a disposition state that they can't even come and try you on this no more. It's done, it's, it's squashed, it's dead, it's everything, right? She said, I need the disposition to handle to my superior because you, see, you, you just can't stay out of nothing, you know? I don't give a damn if you beat it. Like, uh, still, you're in, you're in, you're following, you're fucking following around. So I said, yo, Miss Smith, I don't know, I get, I get they, they, they tried me. I beat it. I feel I shouldn't even have to hear this from you. I should be seeking sympathy from you for all this unnecessary harassment of abuse of authority that comes my way. I'm thinking if anybody, I should be able to talk to you and you, you know, in some form of fashion where you could see the, the bigger picture. So she like, yo, don't try that shit on me. Go get the shit and bring the shit back. I went and got the shit and brought the shit back. Now, right, thereafter, I'm telling my guy, yo, I want your man's in them, son. Them niggas just lined me up for a knockoff, son. You know what I mean? So he like, yo, bro, everything being real, I'm feeling your energy on that. I'm agreeing with you on that. He said, but uh, right now, we need to stay clear, present danger. Them dudes, I don't know what, what done happened with them from what you told me. You said they done snatched, snatched up the girl. Like, what, 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 they might... Be looking at them dudes or something like that. I said, oh, shit, were you right? And that was the situation with that. And that was based on, you know, um, and the lesson was, it's basically like, you can't do, you can't have too many people in a pot when you trying to chef up something. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my dude had his man. His man was getting information from these boys and like it was just way too much shit that was way too many people involved and i normally don't do a bunch of involvement when it's time to do my shit niggas you know had the ocean niggas had the oceans 11 squad man oh son and the thing was but yeah it's still i goes off my vibe you know what i'm saying i felt the vibe the vibe was good so i'm like all right i'm fucking with it but nah them dudes gave me a dummy mission them dudes wasted like 10 minutes off my time running right just to come out in the same block or it has to i had to go <laughs> that way yeah son because the other way was a dead end like i was tight behind that and then to, to get to get jimmy fly super snooker in broad daylight 
come on, son. Come on, son. That shit was just, that was just way too much for my, for my characteristics on the time of that. You know what I mean? Get your promo seen by thousands of people fast. Get at me.